Do you have the bandwidth for AI? No, but literally. The explosion of AI has driven up demand for the hardware that makes it all happen. You might be familiar with GPUs or graphic processing units, but what about HBM? HBM, or high bandwidth memory, is an increasingly popular type of computer memory for chip makers like NVIDIA. Here, we'll go over the basics of HBM, what makes it useful for AI applications, and how it differs from other memory types. To dig deeper on all things computer memory and storage, visit our dedicated site at the link above or description below. And remember to subscribe to Ion Tech for more videos on all things business tech. HBM technology got its start in 2008, and the first actual HBM chip was developed in 2013 and became an industry standard type of chip that same year. The idea of HBM is to place computer memory closer to the computer processor for faster and more efficient performance. HBM isn't a completely new type of memory, but rather a new way of deploying DRAM, or dynamic random access memory. Here's what makes it special. Conventional memory microchips like DDR or GDDR have a planar architecture where the DRAM dies are laid out side by side. HBM stacks DRAM dies vertically. This not only saves space, but also shortens the distance data needs to travel when compared to conventional memory. The stacked DRAM dies are connected by through silicon vias technology, or TSV. In this process, thin electrical wires are run through small holes drilled into the DRAM dies, connecting multiple layers of DRAM to a base logic chip. While this makes for efficient data transfer, it means the DRAM dies must be larger to accommodate the TSV connection. HBM is placed next to the processor, or even directly on it, while other memory, like GDDR, is placed further away on the circuit board. Memory bus width is a measure of how much data can be transferred between the CPU and the RAM. HBM3 provides a 1024-bit bus, significantly more than conventional memory widths of 32 or 64 bits. All of the above features result in benefits like higher bandwidth, lower latency, higher capacity, lower power consumption, improved thermal efficiency, and a smaller overall form factor. But HBM is more complex to manufacture, and therefore usually costs more than conventional memory. HBM has become increasingly important in recent years. AI and machine learning requires processing large amounts of data as fast as possible for both training as well as inference. With HBM's high bandwidth, low power consumption, and low latency, it's a key technology for large language model development and deployment. What do you think? Will HBM keep pace with the demands of AI workloads? Or will we see a new memory technology on the scene? Share your thoughts in the comments and remember to like and subscribe too.